All right, today we're going to go over extension methods in C-sharp. Uh, this is going to be one of the first few videos in a new series covering C-sharp exam materials um, or topics, uh, specifically the 7483 exam from Microsoft. I actually just took mine and passed it a few days ago, so I feel pretty good about it. Um, one of the questions, one or two questions were actually about extension methods, uh, so we'll cover that at the end as well. So first and foremost, let's go over what extension methods are. And according to MSDN, they are uh, extension methods enable you to add methods to existing types without creating a new derived type, recompiling, or otherwise modifying the original type. Extension methods are a special kind of static method, but they're called as if they were instance methods on the extended type. So one way I like to think of it is like if you think about the dot two string or dot two upper methods. So let's uh, let's first. Let's start by, uh, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over how to use or make an extended method. So we're going to do this, uh, extension methods, we'll call it. And um, in this class, we're going to make our first function or extended method, which will return a string. And we're just going to replace a string value in here. And this is the key part. So this this is going to reference to the current instance that's been sent over to this. And we're just going to reset the value that's sent here to uh, something else. Um, I'm going to replace whatever the original value was. Right? And we're, of course, we're going to return it because we said we would return a string. So uh, again, uh, just in case your first time uh, joining us, um, all the project files will be in the video description as well as I'll pin the links to it on the uh, comment. And the actual project files will probably be well commented. <clears throat> okay, so moving on, um, we're gonna go to our main now and we're gonna make our string. So my string, string my string equals, I don't know, we'll call it, um, Let's make it something obvious. Uh, this string should never reach output. Should never uh, appear on output. And the reason why is because we're going to use this extended method to replace the value that's in there, hence the extended method that we made. So we're going to do this now by saying my string equals my string dot. Now I said earlier it's like you know, two lower, two upper, two string, right? These are kind of like a, I think they actually are extended methods. I don't know if they're considered that. Uh, anyways, uh, I know, I just passed the test and I, <laughs> I don't know that. Um, so let's see. We should be able to find um, our extended method. So replace string value. There you go. Okay, so, and then we will I'll put what my string is. So just to be sure, we're going to copy and paste this um, to the moment right after. Let's see here. Whoops. I'm just going to do this so that we know the first time we ran through it and the second time. So when we have the string value, well, actually, we don't even need to do that because we're going to replace the string, but it's already been done. So what we should be expecting is in this one, we should see this sh string should never appear on output and then one. After we use our extended method, which takes us back up here, it's talking about this current instance. Um, it's taking this value and we're going to replace that value and return it. So that means my string will equal, I am going to replace whatever the original value was. So this should display that with two as well. And sure enough, we get that this string, that's the first one. And this is the second one, there's slash in there because we put it at the end of it here. So that's why it looks a little bit different. Anyways, so that's actually a very quick introduction to extended methods or extension methods. Um, all right, so let's do one more example. And this next one's actually a, a commonly asked one. I think a lot of uh, school assignments early CS classes will probably have a scenario like this. Um, not the extended method, but the actual function that we're about to make here, public static. 
Uh, let's do string again and uppercase first letter. So I'm sure this happened. This is something that's asked often for early classes where they want just a first letter of a string or first word. We're not going to do first word, but because um, there has to be some time for people to figure these things out for yourselves. So we'll just do first letter. Anyways, moving forward, this will make the first character in a string capital letter so we can do that by making a array of characters and we're going to set that equal to value dot to string no i'm sorry that doesn't make any sense dot to uh array to char right there we go and next so what we're doing here is we're, we're taking the string that was sent to us and we are getting a character array and strings are essentially a character array anyway so we're setting them equal to the character array called array is equal to what the string is now so now we just want to get the first letter right so that's just element zero and we're going to do that to upper and we're going to make element zero the first the first element basically uh uppercase letter and then we're going to return new string. We're going to make sure that it is back to uh, casting it back to a, a string. We're going to return that. So we'll go back to main. I'm sorry. I don't think you guys can read any of this stuff. <laughs> don't worry. If you can't read it, you can follow along with the, the links to the GitHub and go from there. Though, uh, again, I promise it will be excellently commented. So here, just to prove my point, we're going to call this lowercase um, string equal, well, lowercase, let's keep it simple. Next, we're going to get lowercase string, and we are going to use our extended method. And uppercase first letter. So let's see what we get. So um, I'm not even going to bother doing console.line this time because it's it's so obvious um, that it should be lowercase. Ah, screw it. I'll do it anyways. So we should see the first in, uh, first run of it. Let me just comment this out. So the first thing we should see is lowercase with lowercase letters. Second thing we should see is lowercase with a capital L. Sure enough, that is what we get. So there you go. That's okay. Now in terms of the actual C sharp exam, the question that I had gives you this bit. Okay, we'll, we'll ignore this part. So they basically ask you, you know, you have to make an extension method, whatever, and they give you some code snippets. The big things to look out for is you have to make it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, no, I think it's like this. I think it was public static class extension method. So they'll give you options like protected or public without the static and all that jazz. So just remember that it has to be public static class and then the class name. And then secondly, um, whatchamacall, the actual method itself has to be public static as well. Um, I think they don't give you, I think they give you this part actually. And then they, this is the next part that's missing. So it was like this dot whatever or no this whatever. But the key thing to take note of is that these this this and this right. So the question is just going to give you fill in the blanks. So just remember, take note of this. This is how you set it up. And when the question comes up, it should be really easy. Just look out for the keyword to look out for is this variable type and then parameter name, and then it has to be static, public static. And obviously, this is the way you access it. So that's all. That's all it for the C sharp exam, at least. Um, hopefully, that was helpful. Hopefully, this video will, if you get the question on the exam, if you even take it, <laughs> this will help you answer that question. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Best of luck. Take care.